Hello and welcome back. This is either going to be post-intermission or a second episode if we uh, decide to divide it that way. Um, but we are going to talk a little bit non-comprehensively and casually about some of the new summons or change summons that are uh, that that we think are cool or interesting because Ill Winter in this edition has buffed the conjuration summons a lot has added a few new ones and a lot of them are more efficient and uh higher power than they were in the uh in dominions five so we're just going to talk about some cool things we've seen uh yeah the big obvious one that oh wait you had something no i was just gonna flame rob ca call him yap ca that's all i wanted to contribute <laughs> What are we doing right. if we're not yapping? Listen, I have to throw shade at someone since Dark Wolf's not here. <laughs> I, uh, Dark Wolf? True, um... it is a little bit too easy when Dark Wolf is here. Yeah. He plays it, he plays it off right wrong like a cat. I'm gonna... That means a dog. I'm gonna start us off with the just lowest hanging fruit, which is Draconians. I think everybody at this point knows that Draconians are better. They were already borderline last edition because they were good siege chaff and occasionally good late game chaff and they had the draconian chief that summons more but they have gotten uh yoked and buffed in multiple different directions now you get uh 30 of them and a chief for 20 gems so it's like <laughs> it's it's uh two gems for three of them uh like what is that um like 0.75% 0.75 of a gem or like 0.66 of a gem per or something like that um, you get 1.5 okay. per gem so it would be 0.67 or 6 repeating yeah. if you want to be and mm -hmm. in addition to that they now have two attacks uh in five one of the reasons why they were really bad in combat was because they took up an entire square with their their giant fat ass but they only attacked with one just a week like kind of peck attack with terrible skills. Now they have a venomous bite and a talon attack that are uh, attacking at 11, so that they can actually output pretty respectable damage. Uh, so I, I really like these summons. Uh, Air needed something uh, now that it's lost all its illusions to glamour, and uh, it, it, actually having some good summons can uh, kind of fill in the gaps a little bit. Yeah, I agree. A lot yeah, I, of... I, I do want to point out really quick at the beginning. Almost all of the Conjuration summons got buffs. Yeah. Especially uh, some of the national ones did. A lot of them didn't. But a, almost all of the generics got buffs. So don't be afraid to try them. Yeah, I, definitely some good changes. I think we've highlighted that the changes to Conjuration was very welcome since you basically were punished for even summoning in the first place. So good on Illwinter for doing that. I still would like them to fix some of the blood summons to be in line with the changes, but will we ever get Spine Devils and all the other blood summons that are never really used, Bone Beams and Fire Eams fixed? Uh, that will be to be determined. But there's definitely some really good changes from Conj. Um, most people are just abusing Draconians like you've uh, highlighted. <laughs> and then... Uh, you were getting a lot of value out of Spirit Mastery and Ether Warriors recently. Yes. And then uh, one of the another summon that has been getting some talk or was a while ago was uh, Scorpion Beasts have uh, pincer attacks with oh. untyped damage. Yeah, Scorpion Beasts are fucking pog now. I think the Evolvin Sacred ones are insane. So. I don't know how good the Subalba ones are, but the regular Scorpion Beasts were already kind of, like, reasonable to summon, and now they have, what, two pincer untyped uh, damages, untyped AP attacks on top of their Scorpion Tail, which has Death Poison. I don't remember if it always had Death Poison or not. I but... think it did, but I don't, uh, don't quote me. But regardless, it does have Death Poison, so even though they're still very slow to mass, being one mage turn and two gems per, uh, the chassis is actually pretty fucking intimidating now, so if you're willing to go through the setup 
of making sure they hit right as they are still um, undisciplined, I believe. Yeah, they are still undisciplined, or at least according to the mod inspector. I'm going off the mod inspector right now, so some of this might be wrong. But <laughs> they are undisciplined. Yeah, yeah they are. I, I I would like for Illinter, uh the only conj and the only summon in conj I would like them to fix is cave crabs, which they needlessly gutted uh, or nerfed in Dom Five in the half of scaling patch, which was. By far the worst patch they released in Dom 5 throughout its life cycle. I would like uh, them to fix cave crabs and make them good again. Note uh, to self, uh, put the bitching sound bite here. Fuck no. you. <laughs> I'm bitching time, in this episode! Every time that patch comes up, someone always adds a sentence, which, by the way, was the worst patch in Dominion 5. <laughs> well, it was. I mean, we, I'm no not use... wrong! <laughs> There's no use in complaining about it now that it's a new game and it's mostly fixed, yeah. but it was. It was true. Yeah, it was just like a needlessly L patch. As the kids say, LL. Do, do they? Do the kids say that? Yeah, they spam Probably W and L. Poggers? Not with that voice. They, they just, you know. Uh, you goody, know uh, uh, it looks like you've been uh, summoning some uh, Shade Beast. Big L there. Uh, so, ah yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, Shade Beast. That that's probably an over summoned uh, summon. I, I, they're good, but I like Shade Beasts. I, I will tell you the uh, utility I've gotten out of Shade Beasts. Shade Beasts were one of the few summons in Dominion's Five that had a reasonable number, and now they've have it, it's two per gem. So you spend fifteen, you get thirty, and it scales very well with death so you get a ton of them um the the shade form it, the spirit form or whatever i think they have spirit form maybe i'm wrong it makes them worse but one thing they're really good at now is that since dark power is going to proc every time you're underground you don't need to cast darkness shade beasts give you a a form of underground raider if you're a death nation you can have anyone stealthy lead them and they will whip most underground pd types so you can just go take the caves with them or raid your opponent's caves with them uh they're very useful in that regard and they can they can also be a sort of distraction ethereal bait although they're not that good at it they'll just get banished or whatever the shit um but underground they're a terror you know one one cast they don't have power op they they don't have a spirit form by the way but yeah oh, they're, they're... They don't? oh that's fucking yeah right. actually the shade i guess is kind of gutted in this yeah because you don't get like any of them i get i think there's still like a niche case for shades because they have steel strength which is I, I believe steel strength does it stack infinitely? I know the spell. Oh, yeah, does. it's permanent. Yeah, you just you just permanently debuff people with it. It's so I think there yeah, are use pretenders. Cases. It's really frustrating on pretenders because uh, so you think... can't fix it ever. Yeah, so there might be use cases for summoning shades, but shade beasts kind of like have dominated their role. Maybe they should you know fix the scaling on shades. Uh, so they're a little bit better. Well, the, Do something with them. The thing about but... the thing about shades, I, you could possibly come up with a use for these guys, uh, and they are conj too. So you do get them early, and they do have a powerful, powerful effect: the steel th strength, ethereal, that kind of thing. But what I liked about them last game was you could <laughs> buff the crap out of them, and all of a sudden they turned very intimidating. But you can no longer buff the crap out of them. So yeah, now... the spirit. <sighs> Yeah, the spirit for change I think was kind of a negative. I th it was like to address like Scleria and Theridos, which I think deserve oh, some hate, but uh, I don't know if they should have blanket gave it to like Shades. That, that might have been well, not the direction. Well, yes. the the nations that they were introducing that for didn't generally have access to the strongest buffs ever, so it's kind of weird. It's not like Lemuria was running around with a bunch of earth magic. You well, know? what I, I feel like, and this is just a feel, uh, is that I, fe I feel like Illwinter was like, okay, we're buffing Ethereal, essentially, because not everyone has magic weapons, and it's going to be harder to get magic weapons in this edition. So we're going to nerf Ethereal by meaning that you can't apply all these skin effects to it, but 
in practice, what that means is that you cannot buff a lot of these ghostly units, and they just end up being uh, kind of shit because of it. Because in four, not four, sorry, in five, their utility was well, if you have a ghost who has this life steal, who has all these inherent effects that are hard to get. Uh, and if you buff them up and they have 20 prot and regen, or not regen, I don't think you could regen them in that edition, but if they have 20 prot and like extra strength and, and they're enlarged and all that, then all of a sudden they become super, super intimidating. And now it's like, uh, no, you can use them as a fear turret or as a support, but you cannot, you cannot buff them and have them clap people's armies. Yeah. Which I think I mean, is... there's an easy way to fix that. You just give people a magic weapon bless, or not bless, a buff, I mean, and then easy clamp. Yeah. I think they're trying you... to avoid that. Yeah, I mean, like, you would have gave it to, what, like, Astral, and then that could be probably pretty negative for the game. Well, I... Like, no, I... Astral or easy. I don't think, yeah. like, may That's... maybe this is this is goofy, but I don't think that being able to buff Undead was all that bad because there were a lot of things you could use to punish the enemy for using undead. Even basic, like, basic I mean, big banishes are... Didn't they take active. Wailing Winds from, like, all the undead nations at the same time? Uh, yes, but... Unless Lemuria has glamour. It's but, less of a... Um, like, I, I don't feel like... I feel like Death Air losing some of its utility was fine because it was cracked in the last game, and the issue is just... Well, that like, was the is. utility. It was... There were two no, spells. There was winds, they they keep winds of death. Yeah. So that's like still good. It's funny to me how influential single spells can be mm. in determining how good a cross path was. Oh well, yeah. What there, makes, no more problematic. There's two or... spells, right, that make death air and nature water the strongest cross paths in the game. Yeah, but how many spells Right? It's foul are... vapors and it's wailing winds. It's like well, how many spells does a cross path even have in the first place? It's not that many. You're gonna look at like six yeah. or seven spells. So of course two are gonna be influential. Yeah, I mean in Death Air, like, like what, what the only other one is the fucking the the bird, the undead bird is the only thing I can really think Ziz? of. Ziz? Uh, yeah. Ziz is their pog, but they're not like anything. That and close the to um, path, corpse defining. constructs too. Which was air death, but it's the same thing. So oh, they they buffed this. This is two gems. I didn't even. Yes, yeah, so they buffed almost all of them. That's what we were just talking about. No, 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 no. But that's a... even an enchantment. Are you talking about the ziz, or are you talking about the uh, no, the ziz? Is... The ziz is two gems. Yeah, no, I thought it was yeah. five still. No, he's, he's. I'm pretty sure reanimate archers is half price too. It, yeah, well, that doesn't matter because the 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 effect of they the bow is fire bows. Right. Listen, if it was AOE one. It would be good, but it's not. It's on damage, which is trash. Well, if it's... you have like thirty of them, it's pretty funny. I okay. I haven't tested the the Banefire archers again. They could actually be good now. Now that you have targeted archer buffs, but in general, I think archers are way too easily baited for me to put much stock into them. Other other than just like mash shit bows. Um, yeah, if they had AOE instead of effect on damage, I think they would actually see play. But because they don't have it on AOE one, which it would still be like kind of mediocre in my opinion if it was like AOE. Grant, maybe like in some cases, maybe it's strong, but uh, they see zero play right now, and arguably so because you have to pass the the, the projectile roll, and then it has to do yeah. damage. And it is at least the there, piercing damage. There are thing, better but... uses for your death gems than just some shithead archer. So yeah, will... it's basically like um, magic crossbows that fire every round. Yeah, I will. They have I will... Uh, eleven AP magic damage packs, and then it has a decay on it. I will um, grant that na damage. that 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 now, like, because there are more ways to buff archers. Like a smaller battery of elite archers is slightly better. Uh, because you could be like, all right, well, let me give them the short AOE fire. Now they have poison. fire and poison. Yeah, and, 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 they're, and, they're, fire. and they're a magic weapon, which is now like uh, more valuable because yeah. not everyone's sacreds have it. But like, I still don't see a use for them. Um, yeah, just make it AOE one. They point. added magic weapons into the conjuration tree in some places. I thought. Uh, or am I the glamour. Some of the a lot of the glamour. 
Well, everything uh, that Glamour has is yoked, and I'm tired of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I know they're trying to hype it up because it's new, but like, why are you stealing all the good stuff from other paths and then just giving them a bunch of fun stuff on top? You know? Granted, one thing I do like from Glamour is the the Fey line of troops, so we may as well talk about them. The Fey folk. Yeah. Well, you like the, the little folk. the little deer heads running around? I, I mean. Maybe. The, fish, the mooch heads, the deer heads, the <laughs> okay. I think the, I think the little the little munchkins running around are kind of bad. It's like, a vady with glamour. Yeah, it's it's like they're not. They're probably not worth it. They they take they definitely take buffs well, but like if you you're probably not want to gonna want to spend your. They will rare, never do damage. It should be the way you gems. look at. Them. Oh, I can make them do yeah. damage. I'm, I just put strength to yeah. I mean, you can make them do damage, but you shouldn't. Right. Yeah, the, the one problem with Glamour, at least I have found, is like if you actually look at the tree, a lot of people like struggle like, oh, what do I do with my Glamour gems? And then you slowly figure out all the good Glamour spells, you have to like give a gem. Like Illusionary Army is really good, and some of the stun spells. I, I, I thought Sandman's Blessing was all right when I used it. Um, You know, there you, there's definitely ways you can use your Glamour gems to do stuff and then of course you have the broken ass legions of demise i told you guys as soon as i saw that spell that it was too strong well, yeah that, there, there's a big demise? isn't it like well, 5 a.m last episode so get quiet. yeah yeah go talk watch the, the podcast rob get with the program there was like the initial um response thing and i was like looking at it i'm like that's kind of crazy no yeah well there's a big thing on the forum that, that they're still talking about i think it's We've already talked about it, so I don't yeah, think we should it's talk about it. Five points of armor negating per round wanna, if the MR check goes through. It's like. I want to uh -huh. specifically uh, draw attention to how cracked the Unseely Fey are in cold scales. Like, you, you have your Summer Fey and your Winter Fey, and your Winter Fey are called the, like, Unseely Fey, and they have a different chassis uh, that you get if you cast it in, uh, like, a cold forest. But. These guys... Yeah, it's the same spell, but you get one in cold and the other one in yeah. heat, I think, or neutral or whatever. But these guys, not only do they have all the face stuff, like they're glamoured and they have like um, like true sight and they have uh, like a magic weapon and they have yoked up skills and all that kind of shit, but they also have like cold power and ice protection, which, yep. you know, now can stack potentially up to five if you're willing to make people's provinces colder so they get insane and they're already a unit that takes buffs very very well they have a I bunch think... of stuff base they take buffs well and then if you cry crank up the cold scales you could turn these guys a pretty uh turbo <laughs> like wait do you don't they have wait. they have the air um glamour guaranteed i think no, they don't. Okay. I was... Wait, Maybe am I misunderstanding you. this? Don't you only get this through Fairy Court? No, there's uh, Fae Fae Prince and Fae Knights, I think, are similar. No, no, no. Fae, Fae Knights are... Uh, there's a Conj 5 spell that's literally just summon Fae Knights, and there's a Conj right. 4 spell that's literally just summon Fae Footfolk. Footfolk. And so then they... there's the summon Fae Prince, and that can also yeah. give you an Unseelie Prince. And so the, the point is, is that with these pretty low down spells, oh, okay. they are You're very right. expensive per unit. The the Fey Footman, you are you are it's almost um, two gems per, and the uh, Fey Knights, it is actually five gems per. So you are paying through the nose for them. But if you look at these guys' stats, they are cracked. You just gotta avoid, as long as you avoid enemy evocations. That's the that's gonna be their weakness. Yeah, um, that ice prod is nasty. Yeah, they are they are they have stats that is far better than the average soldier, and then they and, have a magic weapon. Can they hit forty prot? Thinking about it, no, they haven't hit forty prot. In cold five with the right buffs. Cold yeah, cold five, they do go up to thirty one prot. Yeah, that's what I'm looking and at. And none of that is. None of that is uh, nat, nat prot, prot, right? So so they should that. probably be able to. I don't think they hit 30, the highest but it, level it's cold. kind of absurd how easily you could get them up in the 30s as a unit, which is just well, bonkers. getting up to cold five is non-trivial. But can't you just spam wolf in winter? 
Like you can, you but you have to spend people. five water gems a turn every turn, and then they True. have to fight on the province that you're setting up with cold five, you know? True, but still. <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure the temperature effect occurs after a wolf in winter, and you can only cast it once per province, I think. So it's like... Okay. Still. If I'm not mistaken. Still. Okay, well, let's say, like, cold three. That's six extra armor on the Unseelie Knight. That's... Yeah. Which is 27, which is more than anybody else has. So, And his pony has ice prot, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Does it have cold power? Uh, No, the pony does not get stronger in the cold. He just gets tougher. The the, the cold pony. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like... Uh, oh, okay. So I'm in cold three. I have 27 prod on the night. You have 27 mm. prod on the horse. Okay, well. And then I have 18 on the foot soldier. Yeah, and how much attack and defense skill? And uh, yeah, the fucking, the fucking foot soldier. Eight, yeah. mm. the, he's got twenty. Like, granted, four of that is parry, so he's eff effectively got sixteen defense skill, and then four parry mean, on my... his gossamer <laughs> shield. But like, yeah, that's fucking insane. And it's notable that the heat version of the spell is very is worse than the cold one. Granted, if you're not in cold, it's negative. I guess. Yeah, it's. The, the heat version is you are slightly not... better in non cold. Yeah, right? the, the the heat version of the spell, the thing about it is, is you're not able to like stack these things up um, ridiculously, yeah. but you are, you do still get good stats and you still get a uh, good quality magic attack and a guy who takes buffs on top of being glamored. So it's like. It, it, it's it's not the cold version is how you can really cheese it but the heat version is still like a competent guy that takes buffs well so if you have uh ethereal shit that you need uh hammering and you have that glamour nature cross path which now this is a cross path uh then that's uh gonna give you some pretty good uh dudes looks like cold german is back on the menu Yes, is cold five. Uh, you can get up to thirty-one. This is plus is, two. I guess is cold Joman back on the menu, Rob? Is it, I don't think it is. I think is, Rob is, says is, is any it's not. Joman back on the menu. <laughs> well, you know, if you get underwater, you, you have all of the woven winter casters in the world, right? Right. And then you do have the nature glamour cross path, which you can summon with just nature. Oh, okay. Because you Kitsune are all. Glamour, what three nature one? So they can summon. They can do uh, like, yes. all of the spells. Wait, so. wait. Is, do you the Joman lore is back. Uh, yeah, they have no glamour income. But if they did, they'd be a pretty cool glamour nation. Do not oh, put Tanuki image you. on this screen right now. Yes, I side searched Tanuki. Yes. <laughs> yes, and I side searched twenty provinces, and I found zero gems. Uh, this is that's just sad CA problems. <laughs> Yeah, sad Don't worry, problem. I did the same thing with the Death Mage that I found. So uh, I want well, to you're... talk about the fucking Ether Warrior, because we haven't talked about the Ether Warrior, and the Ether Warrior fucking claps. I'm pretty sure he's just a unit, you know, like, like not like a unit as in a unit in a game, but like a unit as in somebody you don't want to mess with. Yeah, he's an absolute unit. <laughs> he's big You know, bad. when I was a newer player, I used to be like, I hate this guy, he's stupid. And then I got better. I'm like, yeah, he's kind of cracked. Yeah. So the, the, big, the only problem with an Ether Warrior is that he's countered by other Ether Warriors. The big, the big change to Ether Warriors, uh, by the way, um, in, in this edition, is you now have summon Ether Warriors, which is five gems per three. You get three Ether Warriors for fifteen Astral Pearls at Conjuration five, so you don't have to Ether Gate and spend ninety fucking pearls. To get your ether warriors. Now you may end up in a situation where you summon so many lower down ether warriors that you end up spending ninety gems and you would rather have ether gated, but you um you don't have to set use ether gate to get them, which is important. They are large, they have great stats, magic power, a moon blade, which is not as good as it used to be, but it's still a magic weapon and they're base ethereal. So if you have earth nature buffs, earth nature water buffs they take buffs insanely well and they are a source of really high damage magic weapons if you put like you know of course 
um, weapons of sharpness types effects on them. Yeah, they will they become ridiculous. kill absolutely anything. And if you put like in a large and regen, they become kind of a problem to deal with. So they're another candidate for buff stacking. And uh, honestly, an, an army thug alternative in your in your armies where if you just have like a guy bodyguarding one of your army thugs or some of these guys mixed into your troops they will wade forward through human sized troops i believe um they will and They're... then and then they will beat down people with their their moon blades uh especially once buffs so they're you know it's very possible to blow all your astral supply and grief yourself out of globals but this is a very good solution to a lot of problems that Dominion Six presents. They um, also don't care about going underwater or underground because they have spirit sight and full amphibian. Yeah, <laughs> they're just fucking. They, they kind just, of ignore half the glamour spells too. Cl- yeah, they just don't care. They just clap. Yeah, and then of course because they have moon blades, they, they kind of clap all elves that are magic beings yeah. as well. Well, they have to hit them, so you do want to fight them in magic. What is a fey? What is a fey knight? Is that a magic uh, being? I, I don't know. It should be. It should not. be, but it's not. <laughs> also, the uh, the spelling of fey is know. not consistent. <laughs> well, it's not in the mod inspector. I don't know if it is in game. <laughs> uh, it should be, but it's being. not. Uh, okay, well. Yeah, fate. Not. I was gonna say, if somebody invests fifteen glamour into a fey knight, you just put fifteen into an ether warrior, but it doesn't work that way. I guess a fey is just a guy from Fey Run. Okay, like that's. (laughs) Oh, there we're gonna make anime references. Oh, it's from the Fey Fey Stay series. Homie, I was making a D and D. He wasn't even making that. He was making a D and D reference. I was trying to hijack him. Uh, anime? Let's talk about some anime. Uh, you know what else aren't uh, magic beings, Rob C.A.? Kidnins. The... Kidnins. What aren't? I don't Nyads. know how to pronounce it. Nyads are not Nyads. magic beings. You can go check them right now. What the Kidnins. fucking shit is this shit? What is this shit? Oh, yeah. Not. Homes can't fucking leave your house. Uh, Nyad Warriors got buffed. That's very interesting. I don't think, like, you're going to summon them more than you used to, but they did get buffed. The ones that have homesickness, you can grief people with in forests. <laughs> is this a reference to a play somebody made? I think this is a reference to Stone Troll, yes. Yes. Didn't he make some unit? This is in one of our other episodes, guys. You can check that. Okay. Don't, listen, I don't even know. Nyads of 120 water breathing now. Oh, that's That would be great if they could leave their home. Well, you could take people and raid underwater with uh, them, I guess. That's the... I guess, and then you have to go back before they die. Yeah. Or the, the Kynthanid or whatever. Like, 25 for 18 is pretty good. Please tell me that's not what they had in the last game. I'm sure they both That's such them. a large... Uh, it's probably better. Almost certainly better. I mean, you could now... That's a lot to get in a single cast of anything, really. That's that's essentially two raid parties. Like, more than two, probably. Two I cast it. That's it all. was 18 for 15 before, so it, they did give it a 40% bump. So that's a yeah. little bit of a boost if you want to go underwater and raid people with shit. That's that's nice. I say 40%. That's got to be more than that. That's like a 66%. Math CA giving you the higher... I don't even know if it's right. Someone else is going to be... That is 40% of 25, isn't it? But it's not of yes. 15, obviously. Listen, if you're wrong, you can correct it in the comments. Correct. That's true. That's how that works. Right. Does... Any other summons? <laughs> Listen, you just need to encourage people to flame you in the comments. That is the way, yes. This is how we drive engagement. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We need more. It has nothing Remember to do with to engagement. leave a comment telling us how stupid uh, it sounded when we said that thing. Leave a comment L- Listen, I don't care about it. <laughs> I just I just like interacting with the community. Our impressionable fans, as Dark Wolf would say. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Listen, that was what? a good bit he had. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it was pretty. Sometimes funny. you let Dark Wolf cook. <laughs> uh, let's let Dark Wolf cook. Burn the bacon. Surely nothing will go wrong. He's only lighting the house on fire. <laughs> 
Fucking hell. Oh, uh, Call of the Winds. Call of the Winds is better. Bam. You yeah, you got, ten more, you got ten more birds. And it's eight gems, so now it's a lot more worth it, I think, to cast. Ooh, that sounds better. I sure. can't wait Isn't to it, see Z4 I, cast Was it, it Air 2 times. before? I feel like it's it was always, higher. It's always, it's been, it's always been, been Air 2. Yes. Uh, but it's, it's eight I'm gems thinking of the wolf for, one, aren't I? It's eight gems for 50 hawks, so now you can actually raid like medium amounts of PD with it, so you can actually use it for its intended purposes. Granted, Let's... I'll always use it to snipe mages. Like it's always the funniest to just be like, "All right, let's see how you handle birds in your face, Mister Sight Searcher." <laughs> but... Oh, I'm here, Sight Searching with my 600 ah! gold Dumbo. Hey, it's me, Mister Dumbo. Any sights here? Oh, it's the cock. And then you Follow get a the little... wild got buff too. Interesting. Get a little bit of uh, residual p um, utility, as in the birds can be patrollers or baits, and then the uh, leader bird, now you have a flying leader that you can uh, put tinny or draconians on and go around raiding more provinces. Woo! <laughs> I didn't even see the Call of the Wild buff. That used to be 15 gems of dog shit. Man, yeah, that's no, nine. It, like, it, it I just, I be... remember seeing in a patch, Call of the Drug Vent, which is like a like a demon version that the Kalem line gets, I think. That also got buffed. I don't know what it does then. Doesn't say on the inspector. Call it. No, this is why a uh, skill issue. Get, I get more direct. dravas now. I don't know how many they get though. All right. So I listen. Do, I, I I asked this question off the podcast, but I want the answers on the podcast. Does anybody ever summon a spine frog, and was it effective? <laughs> uh, I just it guessed one them time? out. No. And they eat. Units smaller than them. That's if they hit. Oh, they're size yeah. six, so that's good. You can enlarge so them to size seven. They die really easy because seven pro and nine defense skill is not that good, even with forty-one hit points. Uh, listen, so they Rod's die uh, pretty easy. So they're technically not competing with cubes, but they could maybe. Uh... But they take prot buffs better because they have seven natural prots. So even with the god awful skin changes, they will actually take your. Prot buffs a lot better. This poison spit is um, shit. Trash. Kind of garbage. Oh, I love well, spitting like on my opponent. <laughs> it also, it prevents them from just running in because they're undisciplined right. and dying, doesn't it? Do they even use it? I, it's an undisciplined unit with a with a yeah, range, range attack. attack. Yes. they're gonna use it. it granted, it yes. has five ammo, so that I, I'm only is... asking because the um, the only <laughs> test I did. I guess they were too far in front or something, because... Man's be never used a Murakata, clearly. Because they just ran up, and then they... I guess they spit once, and then they got caught that, by the enemy and died. That might yeah. actually be good. They they can... If you have them behind your other troops, they can run up, they'll, they'll spit it's, for a little while, and then... They'll, they'll push just, them out of the way, they'll... It's yeah, they'll they'll a really the funny counter, counter to certain thugs, I'm thinking. Like a mounted thug or something? Yeah, I don't know. Could, All you have to do is hit once. Like, I don't know. You do have five. to spend a. So could it a eat a horse? Spin. <laughs> I mean, have to test. Could it. be able to. I mean, it should be big enough, right? I don't know. It's horse. hard to tell. Yeah, for, for promoting this weapon, tech, we haven't tested. The, so it the might. The weapon be says minus two or special in the game. It doesn't tell you what they do at all. Like it's Kick hard ass. to tell. The mod inspector says what they do, but they uh, might be a lot. It says they can break magic weapons. I have no idea if that's true. <laughs> what does this unit do? We don't know. We're just going to talk about it on the podcast. <laughs> promoting a unit that going? might be dog shit? Right. Listen, I don't say we're promoting it. Hey, uh, everyone go use this unit and then uh, tell us if it works or not. <laughs> Instead of you going in single player and figuring out yourself. Give it out. Give us a trip report. Does the spine frog work at all? Is it worth casting? Uh, I guess someone peanut. coming home from their nine to five listening is gapping. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> the, the issue is if you run them into anything, they'll just walk up and die, right? So you kind of have to. Yeah, nice, they can't be by themselves. Nice eight defense skill. They are a single nature gem that they do cast cost a turn to. A turn each, summon. yeah. Yeah. They're pretty easy to get, but. All right, Rob, say, let's see if I lose my fucking great sword of sharpness. Also, this is called a spine frog, but it's just a swamp beast sprite from Conquest of Elysium, and it doesn't look like a frog. <laughs> well, they won. 
they got poison. Oh, they got him with the poison. Oh, he got eaten. Man. He got eaten. Wait, are you just... Wait. Fuck. I'm not even... Well, watch it again. One. You went too Wait, fast. Uh, we're testing it. We're testing it live. Coming oh, here from the, from the tester dome. We have a Lord Warden with some fucking garbage GSS on him or something. He's being spit at? Wait a minute. Look at his poison. Does he have poison on? No, he's... Okay, yes, he does. a little bit. Oh, he just gets rip, eaten. Rip and tear. He just gets eaten. Yeah, I told you that's what happens. They just eat, they just he just, eat stuff. He just dies. And then he's dead, and then that's it. Oh, my God. Oh, mm -hmm. Sauron's Soron, sending more in. Oh, I want to see if they break the item. 138. This is going to oh. make Oh, they won this time. Content. I'm going to have to cut this. Bro, you can keep on gapping. I'm just fucking. <laughs> what are we yeah, supposed to see when it you're goes that? About what's happening they just walked screen, up and carved them all up. Dope Little dope frogs and stand the chance. Oh, yeah. Listen, I, we wanted to see if the gobble broke the items. It clearly doesn't. <laughs> no. It oh, we're gobbling on this cock, and it doesn't work. Huh? <laughs> you're gobbling on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm yapping. Is what I'm doing. Yeah, uh, yeah, why don't we insult Yapsia while fucking yapping about this fucking test, though, so the listeners can see. I'm at that. <laughs> what, you want to be recording it I am locally? not editing this out. I am leaving <laughs> this in. You're going to have to listen to this dog shit. No one's going to understand this fucking gift. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know uh, that the spine frogs can break weapons? It lied. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> the Winter lying to its player base? No, this is the Winter. Uh, Winter does right? not run the Inspector. I mean, Winter does lie, but fucking the Mod Inspector lies. Almost too. certainly what happened is that there's some tag on it that may or may not be new. Yeah. No, they don't you know, know what how it to is? parse it on the Inspector, so it just. <laughs> We're go it's no, 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 no. Rob CA, Rob CA. You know what it is? It's like Bear <laughs> Charm Talisman. It's supposed to work, but it's just been broken because no one uses the fucking thing for its like niche use. Why and would it's you been use broken. it if it doesn't work and it costs so, 10 gems? So. No, no, but it's just been broken for 10 years, but no one reports it because no one uses it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they got that report. They were like, Bear Charm? Uh, no, that doesn't work. No, no. Loggy saw Loggy saw it. Oh, Loggy saw I it, hate right? you so much. No, it's we been talked been about this last forever. week. It just hasn't been fixed. Yes. And, so, I, and I tested it to make sure in both versions like, last yeah, week. I'm going to deep dive into the autism here, but like it, like I'm pretty sure what's happening with the inspector is, you know, when they went from uh, five to six and they broke all those bit mask values that all the modders were like bitching about uh, because they have that ridiculous fucking bit mask. Um, oh yeah, system. yeah that's how they, system. I don't, anybody not caught up with the Dominion's modding scene, you have to add powers of two numbers together in order to get special well, effects well, uh, if, on units you in want, your modding. So, if you want effects that are not, not in that are not in documented mod commands, you in can tags. kind of go backwards by getting by finding out the bit mask, which involves like adding up powers of two together to combine effects and yes. to give you a number. And then you can use that in modding. However, this is used by they, the way, as an example for like magic paths generically when you're designing units. So you have to add like, however, they what are you, 2048 and some other number together to get certain magic path combination. It's really bad. They changed I think you, there's actually mod commands for magic pass that you can use without bit masks, but they it was for randoms. I think they changed. They have multiple combos. Oh Jesus fuck! Uh, they changed what a lot of those bit masks were between games, and specifically <laughs> they added in glamour. I think where blood used to be, and then kicked blood another space up. So. All the bit masks that all the modders had been using, if they were trying to get undocumented effects into their mods, were uh, that would ruin a lot of completely it. broken. So if you're waiting yeah. on like, I don't know, DE or like Confluence or something to update, like that's, that's a lot of that shit just fucking broke. <laughs> so like, uh, what if we uh, take a rocket launcher <laughs> to your monitors? Uh, to I mean, blow them up. 
like as I, I've, I think I said this last episode, but I don't expect the mods of the last game to work necessarily in the new game. But, uh, you know, it, it does have to be a kick in the teeth if you're a modder and you're already trying to work through this just absolutely obtuse arcane system. Yeah. And Keep in you... mind that every mounted unit would be broken and everything has to be resized as well. So, uh, that's, Well, uh, depending on what mod commands you're using, because, again, anything that was using, like, copy stats... Ooh, that's true. ...is going to be fine. Uh, because... But how does that work with mounted stuff? I, I Let's... think it still works, because if you're copying the stats, it, it's going to take what you had copied that was mounted on, and then it's mm. going to... Uh, okay, so it would that. link you to a mount. Listen, and... Rob C, I flamed Dark Wolf for this last week. Watch the podcast to figure out what we already talked about. But the... Uh... <laughs> but it's funny, the modders aren't complaining about the mounts because they like making sprites so like they're just, yeah of course they they enjoy yeah. that so they just give they're them make, more fun sprites to make their make their own t-posing horses for all the mounted units that got broken but then the bit uh, yeah, figuring like, out like the arcane magic you have to do to get event chains to work to accomplish some effect modders don't like that one but making more sprites yeah, thumbs up. They, well <laughs> yeah know. most modders maybe, don't like that one maybe one day they'll fix the big mask editing creation thing but probably no they'll just did you know that if you wanted to give a mage certain random path combinations you have to add powers of two to each other hmm. did you, you gotta pull out the old calculator unless you can do that one in your head oh uh, yeah actually what's very funny is you can give um you can give weapons afflictions as their damage i i, I was modding and so i i ran into this but yes, that yeah. also works through powers of ten. So there's a table, but it's Wait, powers of ten. Not powers of ten. ten. Sorry, powers of two. Powers of ten would actually be powers easy. of ten would be easy. Yeah, powers of two. How okay. many ones do so I have? There's a ta yeah. there's a table of what to make your damage to give it a certain affliction. You go damage type affliction, and then you make your damage number a certain number to give it affliction. But those are tabulated in their powers of two. So you have to go two to the whatever and then write down that number. They didn't tabulate that number. They could have, but they didn't tabulate that number. No, they make yeah, it so like if you want something to not affect undead and give the disease, you have to like Yeah. Oh, you have to tabulate so the powers of two and then write down that as your damage number once you've already said damage type affliction. Yeah. And then, and then you could give your And if you affliction. if you thought it stopped it too, by the way. Oh, this is a magic effect. That only works on non inanimates, and it's got an MR check, and it applies disease. And then you have to add four numbers. Together. Listen, have fun, kids. I, I haven't messed around with the, this some of this stuff, so it's just going over my head, and I'm like, "Yep, I'm a peanut." What Actually, I, I think magic weapon is a default. Tank, what I really want to know, really, is is Illwinter still programming their game in the original for the like Amiga? programming language that they were using for well, digits one why do they use bit masks hp is there a reason that they're using numbers which are represented as powers of two question I'm mark sure there is a reason i like that's the problem with this game it's it's almost been, as if programming language and it's, it's been basic built form. up for years it's like did they ever actually change the engine between two of these or is this still like I'm, yeah i'm pretty sure powers of two are really easy to code with is this uh, still something that's like built for the Amiga? That's just been Amiga. You wanna clue me in? Like, Isn't that like an ancient? Didn't they build it originally for like an ancient? Yeah. Console? Can you can you clue me in? Because I have no. You keep on saying this word, and I'm like, it's like a computer system from the mid '90s. Yeah, it was something um, stupidly old. Yeah, like but they built. Dominions like, one to originally one was meant fit to run <laughs> on like these ancient systems, and I just really want to know: Are they still programming it on like a fucking toaster, <laughs> and then like porting it I, over? I have to imagine that they're not, because if you think about how much space Dominions takes up now, it's in like how much even is well, but it? Rob, you could easily emulate the ancient computer on a modern system. <laughs> 
but it's like the the amount of space it takes up is so much more than like was even in the memory of an old system like that i'm assuming are, are we theory crafting illinger's setup is this the new erotica you guys are playing with like, uh, i mean yeah we're what? just trying to figure like <laughs> Listen, someone needs to say, you, I'm like completely out of the loop. I'm like, yeah, because it, it's like, should I know what the fuck you it. both were talking about? Uh, Absolutely. Nobody should know. Well, what here's the thing the old computers point. didn't have that much memory. So I don't think a program could have existed back I, then. I think the oldest. 150 megabytes. So the they old? probably have something more complicated and modern on their in their program now. Did either of you have like an old ass computer like that? Because they. But for as back as I went was like Windows ninety five. I think was the oldest system I. Well, if we're with. talking nineties, uh, I don't think I used it's anything. Not, it's not that complicated compared to what we have today, right? <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying like that's as like that's only as far back as like the old system I'm familiar with. But I was very young. Uh, okay, so with that. So the uh, original Dominions was released on Windows PCs, the Power PC uh, platform, and Solaris, which is a, a, a Unix operating system. Um, oh, Linux based. Yeah, yeah. So it was not. Uh, it was not released for the uh, Amiga original. Uh, by the way, I say base, but I don't actually run Linux myself. But Linux is fun. I don't. I don't. I lack the fucking. Uh... I think Mandar runs Linux. No one's. I don't even know if people know who Mandar people is. People know probably Linux, know. about Linux, like they are. Well, no, they'll know about two thousand two. <laughs> Gamespot gave Dominions two a six point two out of ten. <laughs> Three out of five. Oof. What a scathing what, review. Random, a useless Dominions lawyer. Just anyone who isn't lost through your fucking Amiga <laughs> Amogus fucking conversation. Amogus. Is still listen. <laughs> yeah, that's all I was thinking of. You're like, Amiga. Oh, yeah. My brain is like so tiny where all it's right, like, so Amogus, I, Amogus. I, think, Amogus. I think that that was your episode and or episodes and or lost segment of your Dominion 6 Rise of the Podcaster with co-hosts Sauron and Rob CA, we will maybe be back next week. If I am lazy, if I am like on point with my editing, we do not have a topic. Uh, we're really not going to be advanced, uh, talking about topics in advance because we barely know what we're going to talk about when we record it. It's so, okay. Uh, Cause that is okay. correct. We don't know what we're saying. It's okay. Cause it's okay. David Inge, Hadrian. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. No one will know what you're talking about. <laughs> see you. Uh, see you uh, later. I'm bitching in this episode. You can't stop me.